Pardon me? Pardon me? Pardon me? Pardon, pardon, pardon me? Pardon, pardon, pardon me? Key on, key on, key on. There we go. Happy? All right. Okay. Let's get down to business, please. First of all, there's a word there that I want to show you guys, or something I want to highlight. In English, what makes a sentence? No, because I just said a sentence in one word. No. What makes a sentence? A topic? Okay. So wait, wait, here we go. Ready? Ready? Science. Well, that's a topic. Is that a sentence? Why? But we said you could have a one-word sentence. No. There's a one-word sentence. What about science? Excellent. Science is... Is that a sentence? Is that a sentence yet? No. Why? Because you haven't finished it. Why? What makes that not finished? The science is you're leaving the sentence off in the middle. Exactly. Science is awesome. There you go. Why? However, you think science is awesome. But why is that a sentence? Which we're not talking about whether science is awesome or not. Thank you. It is a complete capsule of information, yes? It has a subject, science. Science is doing something. Science is. What is science? Awesome. Cool? So what would make an addition sentence? One plus one equals two. One plus one equals two. You have to have a question and an answer. Does everybody understand that? So an addition sentence has to be a question and answer. Or it's not complete, yes? So what do I have here? Is that question or answer? Question. I still need to find the answer. Is everybody cool? Okay, now we're going to do this exactly the way we've done everything all the way along. We're going to start with the pictures because the pictures mean all you have to do is be able to count. All of you can count. So we're going to start with the pictures. First thing I do is draw each of them, okay? Now, I'm actually not going to draw them. You know how I do it. I use just numbers and pictures. I mix it. So how do I draw this guy? Three big squares. Three big squares. Yeah? Yeah. Two bars. Okay. Actually, you know what, you guys? I am actually going to draw this one out. Wow. Cool? Good. Now that's going to be on the How do I draw this guy? Two bars. Two bars. Are they shaded or not, Keon? No. Why? Because it's, yeah, because it's a positive. And then how do I draw this guy? Six little guys, yeah? Now let's draw this guy. How do I draw this? One big shaded. How do I draw this? Maybe two unshaded. Bars. Two shaded bars. Oh, yeah, shaded. They're negative. And how do I draw this guy? One singular square. One singular square. Yeah? Okay. Are we good? Okay. Now, step two says I group my matching tiles. So I'm going to use color to do that because I'm too lazy to, to redraw them. I'm going to use green for the big guys. Does everyone agree? When I put them together, 
I'm going to be left with what is going to happen to that guy and one of this guy. Why? Negative and a positive. Cool? All right. I'm going to use yellow for the bars. They both are going to disappear, aren't they? And I'm going to use blue for these guys. I kill one of them. Yes? Remaining tiles are what? What's left? Two big guys. Five little guys, yeah? Now, what do those mean in math class? Two. What does this guy mean? X squared. And what does this guy mean? Negative five. So now I have a question right there and an answer right there, correct? So what is the sentence? The sentence is question equals answer. So what do I write first? What's the question? Three, it wasn't X, was it? It was S, right? Yeah. Three S squared, then what? Plus two S, then what? Minus six plus negative s squared, negative two s plus one, yeah? And then I write the answer. Two x squared minus five. Is everybody cool? Yes. And nothing new, correct? No. It's exactly what we've already done, except We've put brackets around some of the terms. Cool? We took one gigantic polynomial and broke it into two trinomials. Yeah? Whoa. Okay. So now you guys, let's do this one. And let's cheat a little. Let's be lazy. How do I draw this guy? Six bars colored or not? No. Why? No negative. How come they're a bar and not a big square? Because it's not square. Because it's not P squared. How do I draw this guy? Four little boxes. Colored or not? No. Not. Excellent. How do I draw this guy? Two shaded. And one little box. Now, is there any canceling? In one place. So in one place. Six, six. six is going to lose two, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to leave me four colored bars. And any canceling here? Yeah. No. Five little boxes. Yeah. Now, that's the picture. What does it mean in math class? How many? Four Ps. Four Ps. And what's that? Plus five. Everybody good? Sweet. You do B on your own. Okay. I'm going to use different three different colors to draw it. Oh, my moon. Everybody able to draw it? It's just counting, right? Okay. Almost done. I got three blanks, four shaded. Where's the canceling happening? No. These three are going to disappear, and that guy's going to be left with one big shade. Yes? Six and three, are they the same or different? 
Same. So there's no canceling, is there? Six and three more is nine bars. Yeah? And what about here? Five shaded, eight not. Cancel each other out. How many are disappearing? Five of them, leaving us with three little guys. Now, what does that mean in math class? Negative e squared, because there's one of them. What's this? Positive or negative? Positive. How many? Nine what? Not x in this question, Ethan. Why? E. Excellent. And this guy? Positive or negative? Positive. How many? Three. Three. Any letters? Nope. No, because that's a constant. Can everybody do this with pictures? Yeah? Okay. In a perfect world, we would, be good at math. we would not use the pictures anymore. Okay? Turn the page over. Symbolically, what does that mean? Numbers. All right? We're only going to use numbers. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this. But listen to me, please. If you actually write it down, it's really, really, really difficult to do it wrong. Okay? If you actually do these steps, it's not hard. So step one says remove the brackets. Okay? So instead of writing this with brackets, we're going to write it without brackets. 3c squared plus 5c minus 6 plus 2c squared minus 3c plus 4. Pretty easy, right? We can do that. Step two says group like terms. What does it mean to group? Put together. Put together. So what is the first term we see? Uh, 3c squared. So let's write 3c squared. Now it says to group them. Well, I have to remember two things now. I have to remember, one, what grouping means, which is put it together, and two, what is a like term? Same thing. Same thing. So if I'm looking at squareds, i got to look for what other things now? Squared. More squareds. Do you see any? Yes. Where? 2c squared. 2c squared. So I had 3c squared, and then I had 2c squareds. Yeah? Cool? Okay, what's now I'm going to cross them out because I've dealt with them. What's the next thing I see? 5C. So now I'm looking for what? Other Cs. Do they exist? Where? Negative 3C. And then I cross them out. And then what am I looking for? Just the numbers. Negative 6. And do I see another number? Plus 4. And then all I do is I add it up like I was in grade 3. How many C squareds are there? There's 3 and then 2 more. 5 C squared. How many Cs are there? There's 5 and then I take away three. Two C's. Positive or negative? Positive. And then I have negative six plus four. Mr. Myers, I'm really bad at negative numbers. Kid, what do you get to do? Use a calculator. Do you need to? No. Where is negative six? Left or right is zero? Left. Where is positive 4? Back the other way. Will I get back to 0? If you lose 6 yards in football, Ethan, and then gain 4, are you back to your original line of scrimmage? No. See how you understand negative numbers? Okay. So what is it? 
negative 2. And there's your answer. Some people tell me that collecting like terms is hard. Is it? No. No. What makes it difficult? No. Laziness. If you do this, is it possible to get these questions wrong? Given the fact that I let you use a calculator for everything. Is it even possible to do this wrong? Do you all have eyes? Yeah. Do you all see that C squared and C squared are the same thing? Yeah. Have you all gotten out of kindergarten? Yeah. So you can all do three plus two? Yeah. Even on a bad Monday, Keon? <laughs> you can, can't you? Right? Okay. So look what I have done for you. I've been very nice with this first one. I did all the work. All you got to do is do this. What is 7 plus 3? I even reminded you over here what to do. What is 7 plus 3? 10. Keon, you are on a roll. Mm, 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 mm. K to the E to the O to the N. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. G to the L to the I to the C to the K to the M to the A to the N. Yeah. 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 So what's the answer? Great two, ten. Ten, ten what? G. Way to go, G. What's that? Negative eight plus one. Negative seven. That took me far too long to figure out. Negative seven. Okay. Is everybody good? Yeah. Okay. Now you have to do something really scary. What? You have to do it yourself. Oh no. But, not totally by yourself, I reminded you what to do over here. So the first thing is what? Move the graph. Let's do that. What will be written on this line? Minus C squared. Minus C squared. We don't have the line. Oh, you guys don't even have the line? So get you. <laughs> plus 11C minus 3 plus 4C squared plus 5. What's the next thing? So put the like terms together. Are there any other C squareds? Great. There's a minus C squared and then a plus 4 C squared. Then C's. Are there any other C's? 11 C. No other C's. Any other numbers? Negative 3 and plus 5. Now all you do is grade 1 math. What is negative 1 plus 4? I don't know, Mr. Myers. I'm going to get out my calculator. Positive 3. Positive 3. Oh, come on. <laughs> Keon, it would help, honestly, if you thought about football. You have a line of scrimmage. Your quarterback is sacked. That's, That's negative. So on first and 10, he's sacked 5 yards behind the line of scrimmage. So you're now at second and 15, right? The next play, they hand it off to, I don't know who the running back is. Great. They hand it off to Luke. Luke gets four yards. Is he back to the original line of scrimmage? No. It's now third and 11. Geez, math seems a lot simpler now. Any other Cs? Yeah. Think about football. Plus 11C and negative 3 plus 5. I lost 3 yards. I gained 5 yards. So I'm at positive 2. Done. What? Great. 10, 11. Okay. Now listen. A lot of you guys, not you guys, like not specifically, you know, Kian, but a lot of kids have trouble adding horizontally, right? Like think back to grade six, grade 
four maybe, when you started adding bigger numbers, and your teacher said, add 812 to 543. And she wrote it that way. That was yucky, right? What did you do with that to make it work better? You put the 543 on the bottom and then... You wrote it this way. Right? You always rounded the top. Right? And, and so if that helped in grade three, when it was just numbers, and we have just proven that we're just dealing with numbers here, mightn't it help here? Yes. There's two polynomials. To add them, you can remove the brackets and line them up vertically. So start by removing the brackets, 2m plus 9. And then the other one is 3m squared. So are there any m squareds yet? So we got to write m squared all by himself. Just like he was 100, and this was 10s, and this was 1s, yeah? And then m, and then minus 14. What's 0 plus 3? Three. So just like if I had this, 19 plus 212, 0 plus 2 would be 2, wouldn't it? So here, 0 plus 3 is 3, but I can't just write 3 because it's more than 3, isn't it? What is it? It's 3m squared. It's 3M squared. What is, what's the number that should be here? No. What number should be here? 1. What's 2 plus 1? Positive 3 what? M's. And what's this? 9 minus 14. Will I get to 0? No. Yeah? Yes, I Will mean. I go past 0? Yeah. How far? Minus 5. Okay. Go ahead and add those while I look in your workbook because I think I'm going to do something a little differently today because I'm pleased with what is going on. No. And after this week, I will be in instituting a policy of one bathroom trip per week. Two bathroom trips per week per kid. So I will have a list, a class list, and you will be allowed to go twice a week. So don't waste it on the Monday and the Tuesday. I don't like to use public washroom. Steve, I don't care. You will be allowed to leave the room twice a week because you guys need to come prepared. Water bottle and tie a knot in it. I have done the first one for you. I have lined it up. Two plus four. Six. Six X's. Three plus eight. Eleven. Eleven. I've lined this one up. Five plus minus two. Three. Three P squareds. Zero plus three P. Three P. 12 plus negative 7. So I have $12 and I'm getting rid of 7 of it. 5. Plus 5. Is everybody good? Great. Page 196 to 197, starting at the word practice. Do tomorrow, that's 25, 27 minutes from now. Now, Jamin, 27 minutes. You gonna have homework? No, because you're gonna work for 27 minutes because you're at school. If you don't wanna have to work on your free time, use your time that you have to work to work, right?